Princess Beatrice's husband broke royal tradition because of Meghan Markle. Princess Beatrice and her husband Eduardo Mopelli Mozzi tied the knot in 2020 but broke a huge tradition beforehand. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss anything about the British royal family. The traditions of the royal family are so important to them that one season is set aside for extra special celebrations. But who can attend these gatherings with the rest of the company is very exclusive. But Eduardo Mopelli Mozzi, now Princess Beatrice's husband, is able to bend the rules, partly because of Meghan Markle. The couple married in a small ceremony in July 2020, meaning Eduardo can now attend official royal events and get the best seats at the royal celebrations. But even before their wedding, he caught a glimpse of one of the family's favourite days, Christmas morning at St. Mary Magdalene Church in Sandringham, although tradition says he shouldn't have been there. Typically, invitations to the family's Sandringham celebrations are only reserved for members of the firm, and partners usually have to wait until they are married to join. But Eduardo has been given the rare privilege of joining in the Christmas celebrations, despite not being officially part of the family. The celebrations included a rare guest appearance in 2017 when Prince Harry invited Meghan Markle ahead of their nuptials, and this inspired Beatrice to do the same with Eduardo. Meghan spent Christmas with the royal family while her family was in America. However, Princess Kate and Mike Tyndall had to wait until after they married Prince William and Zara Tyndall respectively before they could join the celebrations. Richard Fitzwilliams, a royal expert, said in 2021, in 2010, Kate was not invited to do so after her engagement to William, nor was Mike Tyndall after his engagement to the Princess Royal's daughter Zara Phillips. Usually only couples and close family are invited. He continued, however, Harry and Meghan will live together at Nottingham Cottage in Kensington Palace, and her family is in the United States. The monarchy relies heavily on precedent and tradition but it also creates its own. Beatrice and Eduardo tied the knot on 17 July 2020, at the Royal Chapel of All Saints at Royal Lodge, Windsor. The ceremony was attended by the late Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip. In a touching tribute to her grandmother, Princess Beatrice wore a vintage dress by Norman Hartnell, on loan from Queen Elizabeth II.